Shoveling and scraping dead animals off the road, emptying countless bins dripping with slime and foul liquids, that's the type of situation garbage collectors find themselves in on a daily basis. These men and women are often scorned, belittled, and sometimes viewed less than human beings because they perform a dirty job. The star spent a few hours with a team of collectors employed to the National Solid Waste Management Authority as they journeyed through Franklin Town in Kingston removing waste. Team leader Kedisha Pennant highlights some of the not so ideal aspects of the job. The most difficult part is after you just clean a spot, someone just came and just threw back the rubbish at that spot. And sometimes we just have to go back there, especially if it's a main road. You know them way they, we have to just go back there and clean it back. So that's the most difficult part of the job. Which a lot of people does not understand. They don't understand that it is a job that somebody has to do. So come on. Somebody have to work on the cesspool truck, so you understand. So you have people that we say, look at them, like most of the children do, through them not understand them. We say, rubbish people, them man, you know them where they but truly it doesn't bother us. It's okay. Many times, residents grow annoyed or even angry when a garbage truck leaves their community and leaves garbage behind. This may be an old computer desk or a creaking rundown old table parked beside the skip at your gate. It's impossible for these items to fit in a regular garbage truck so they may get left behind. The NSWMA refers to these as bulky waste. There are certain things that's not supposed to go in the truck. So when you come across those items, we put them on the sidewalk or the other truck, that is the tipper truck. The tipper truck comes in the zones once per week. For the, the bulky items, the old fridge, the old stove, cut down trees, mattress, and things like this. Tamar Lemon has dedicated six years of his life to ridding roads and households of garbage. Over that period, he became aware that while on the job, teamwork and strategy are essential in completing a successful day. There's no teamwork work, not done wrong. It must be a teamwork. Team leader Kedisha Pennant isn't the only woman on the truck. Carol Francis has been hopping on and off the truck for 10 years. Well, I'm, I'm like one of the boys. It becomes the norm now because in a male-dominated field, we have to push her away just like the male. So, it's natural. One of the underlying missions of the collectors is to grab and go. Ultimately, this would make things easier, but that borders on impossible when some residents refuse to comply and leave garbage outside. Some even ignore the multiple signals from the driver when he blows the horn. So these people either wait until the truck is at their gate or try to play catch up when the truck has passed. Sometimes there are people that are assigned to the specific area. So those people would normally just go in, take the jumps out. But people that are not assigned to the area, we, we won't know if it is okay to go in because, you know, most times there are dogs in the yard. So it becomes a norm. So most time we just ask the driver to stop and then we just go back and get it. On a positive note, there are those who comply wholeheartedly and have developed bonds and relationships with the collectors. You have two other girls who come past them, my sister, Sherry. Right. Them, them pan a hole. Them, them no weird pan nobody if you come put out them rubbish and if them can't go in there, they call on and say rubbish truck and so. Them nice man. Be proud of them. Yeah, yeah. cause them keep the community clean. Yeah. Yeah. Understand me, we and them out now and meet like some area you and them out and meet yeah. and you know, see them. Yeah, have some road you come from them. Right 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 right. You understand me? Yeah, some road. Right, yeah. them come often, some rubbish. I've seen them house, I know we yard and smell out the place yeah. and all them something. They understand me? Whereas them supervisor, she's very, Loving to people, mm -hmm. very, very, very loving. Remember me telling you. But we have nice. to help them too. But we have to help them. We not the really place. make them come and scrape up with the pan the road. We sweep the gate, we yeah. pack it out. When them come, them have a problem. Them just step up and put in at the truck and gone. Cleveland Johnson puts every ounce of his energy and strength into his job. He respects his job and wouldn't trade it for the world. Moreover, he honors the uniform. Yeah, man. Okay. He might not be one hopping off the truck and emptying bins, but he's just as important as any other member of the team. This is Miguel Dawkins, the driver. The ah, your face is reverse. We are reverse in other in other lane them and cars in other lane and lane them narrow. Very difficult. They have to be very careful. 